Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Our philosophy is loose natural. We are interested in nature, but we remind ourselves to be loose in how we interpret things. We don't want to become smart about nature. We just want to be in a position where we stop being dumb about nature. On this farm we have huge old cork trees. We also have a few hundred old huge beautiful holm oak trees. We are also blessed with many, many young, small holm oaks making their way. But this is also the time where they pick up scars, especially from cattle. It appeared that this tree was scarred when it was young. Usually when people damage trees, they damage the whole tree by cutting it off and removing it. This tree, leaning heavily to the one side, but a beautiful canopy is in an, in an advanced state of decay. On top here the hole and then the whole inside decaying. All these broken down material, decomposition of beetles and termites completely hollow inside. These holm oaks, they do get diseases where they just dry out and die. Something like a mildew. This tree is not doing well. That's why it's already starting new growth at the bottom to replace itself. Also lots of termites and beetles in here that thrive on the cellulose and break down the tree into powder. This one also has a scar, cork. A tree will grow, something will happen. This old cork tree, half of the tree broke off in a windstorm. So once a tree has died, it starts to decay and the first one is the decomposition, is broken down into smaller pieces. Termites, beetles, fungi, bacteria, animals. And then the second process is the remineralization of the soil. All the minerals that are in this dead tree leach into the soil and the other plants can start making use of it. And then the last part of the decay is the humification, is where it breaks down and create humus.
So the three processes of decay, decomposition, remineralization, and then humification. Most of these trees have dead branches. This is where most of the diseases settle. That should be pruned. But because of the size of the trees, it is impossible for me to even attempt to do that. And a tree surgeon, any other specialist in felling, pruning trees should be employed. This tree has been rendered into two, this bark. I don't know if this was lightning or damage. It does unite at the top, but two tree trunks. This is October, autumn, Moringa flowers. Some apple blossoms. And some pomegranate blossoms. And then a lot of orange blossoms. Now this I get because they have time ahead of them to ripen some fruit. But the moringa and the apple and the pomegranate, there's no time. I'm dumb about nature. Till next time. Goodbye.